and welcome. Having a snake that won't eat seemingly without a reason can be incredibly stressful for the owner for the snake as well. And today I'm going to present you with five steps on how to get your snake to eat again. Of course I can't say with 100% that's going to work, but I do know that it has worked for so many people who has been writing me telling me my snake is not eating what to do. This method will probably work with pretty much any type of snake that you have, whether it's a corn snake, ball python, boa, you name it. Let's get right to it. Step number one is to check the terrarium. Is the setup correct? Is the warmth as it should be? Is the humidity correct? Does it have enough height? Are you giving the snake what it needs? If it is an arboreal snake, does it have somewhere to stay? If it is a snake that lives on the ground, does it have plenty of height? All that kind of stuff. Step one, make sure that your setup is perfect. Step two is of course to make the adjustment that is needed. If your snake really do like to burrow and you're keeping it on newspaper, it might be idea to change out the newspaper with something like, for example, coconut fiber. If you, for example, have a ball python in a gigantic terrarium, it might help the ball python if you change it out with a smaller terrarium or if you put in a lot more clutter and a lot more height. So step two is to make the adjustment that is needed. <laughs> Step three is that you need to cover your terrarium. It can be covered with something as simple as a towel. The reason why you need to do this is because that your snake is probably a little bit stressed. So you need to create this environment where the snake can completely de-stress. You need to create an environment where the snake can feel safe. Covering the terrarium with, for example, a towel will give this darkness and will give this feeling of being safe to your snake. And one of the biggest reasons as to why snakes won't eat is because that they are feeling scared and or uncomfortable. So covering with a towel, giving them the place to de-stress, giving them a place to be safe is greatly going to help. Step number four is probably the most difficult step and that is to leave your snake completely alone for at least a week. And when I'm saying completely alone, I mean completely alone. Don't touch, don't handle, don't lift too high to have a look at it, leave it completely alone. Of course you need to change the water once a day, but don't bother the snake in any way. The snake needs to chill big time, so leave it completely alone for a week. Step number five is that after this one week you can try to feed. A great extra tip is to feed at night because that is when the snake naturally would go out to look for food. If your snake is eating, congratulations, you've done it. I would still leave the towel on, I would still give the snake a couple of more weeks to just adjust so you can be completely sure if the snake is not eating. Just take away the food, leave the snake alone completely for at least another week. Well, that should pretty much do it. I've had great success with this. As you may remember, I did have a snake that went into a feeding strike. I did this and she ate. That was just wonderful. I use this method pretty much all the time. Maybe not covering the entire terrarium, but I always make sure that at least one side of the terrarium is covered so the snake has this feeling of being safe. If my snake starts to show small signs of being stressed or if they have refused a meal, of course that can be because they're in shit. I do tend to put on a towel and covering at least half of the terrarium. It really, really does help. Well, guys, that's all for today. Please give the video a like and remember to subscribe as well. Have you tried this method? Please write right down in the comments if it worked for you or if you have any other tips for people who are having snakes that simply won't eat. Just write them right down in the comments. I would love to know. That's all for now, guys. Thank you so much and bye-bye.